now this session is uh, pretty interesting because you know as a min as 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 a, an individual you know buying cars is uh, something uh, very fasc fascinating and also a very dangerous uh, chore to do but can you imagine buying and selling cars could be as easy as ordering a pizza online well now that is something we'll have to figure out up next is a brand that was founded in 2015 and has managed to transform the way consumers buy and sell cars the platform leverages technology at every leg of, of consumer journey pain points and delivers a seamless experience we are talking about india's first startup in the auto tech space that now holds a valuation of 1.84 billion dollars after uh, a recent round of funding cars 24 welcoming the go to man at the organization uh, gajendra the co-founder and cmo of cars 24 who is here to speak on how cars 24 is rev how how how's car 24 changing uh, buying of pre-owned or pre-loved vehicles in india over to you thank you ever thank you very much thank you very much how is it to be a unicorn? We are a unicorn. We have been already a year old uh, since we became unicorn. Uh, but to be honest, there is no like there is no sudden shift of feelings or anything in our head at least about being unicorn. Uh, when you uh, when you really put your blood and sweat to whatever you build, uh, and uh, I think everything happens with the time, and uh, uh, it it makes you feel good. Of course, uh, it makes you feel good for some time, uh, but then you get busy in something which you want, which you are you know setting yourself up for the next right so as soon so it's, it's almost like yeah, whenever you're reaching close to the next milestone you already kind of see what's coming up next so reaching to that milestone what you've been waiting for the last few years has already been okay now it's there now let's let's start the next challenge <laughs> yes uh now can you start um see if you can share and also during the sharing please answer another question of mine now i'm trying to recollect your saval uh, you are called the go-to guy in the org organization <laughs> are you are you the one who's jack of all trades Because when when i was young i was told by many people don't be jack of all trades kuch nahi hoga tera no everything i think every like when you become a leader right uh, jack of all trades is very uh, you know what i say you know master of one is very important when you're really pursuing to become a you know excellent in in, in one field one function uh, it's about the life what you choose, uh, and I think it, it is it is whatever been taught has been taught right. Uh, and when you become master of something, nobody can beat you at what you are really best at it, right? Uh, that's the plus of it. Uh, but when you have jack of all trades, I think this is some this is a skill set which uh, helps you a lot, especially when you are a leader, when you are managing larger team, when you are driving a, a you know larger business. Uh, and I would say not. Jack of all trades, are you able to balance all the facets of your business organization in the leadership or not? Uh, and when you are able to, you know, equally put your head into the technology versus uh, execution versus, uh, you know, business versus uh, product, then it really gives you a very good overview on what is going on each and every function you are uh, part of. And you are able to add value to the various, you know, different function uh, reviews as well, which you are part of. So that's very, very important. Uh, and that's what I've been able to learn in the last, uh, you know, six years of my startup journey. Beautiful. Yeah. But we would love to uh, learn more from you. And uh, in the meantime, has the glitch. So um, also with the marketing bit, you know, I've, I've seen how aggressive that you guys are. Are you also uh, planning to expand uh, um, out of India or what is your um, take on that? Yeah, definitely. I, we the one excellent part of our business model and our uh, you know our technology is that it's scalable globally uh, and the the fun underlying problems of uh, buying and selling selling car remains broadly or largely same across the globe uh, so as soon as we had a capital to support our ambition to go global uh, we we really went after it uh, the preparation began uh, last year uh, we entered into uae and australia this year already by the way uh, and hoping to enter a couple of more countries by end of this year uh, as well so yeah th th i think what we want to now become is a you know a, glo a global company originating out of uh, india that's that's our next goal poster we want to we want to reckon as a 
global brand, auto brand now. Uh, so our ambitions have now you know flourished out of India, and we are all set to make a dent in the global auto industry. Also, would um, uh, love to know more about Bike Twenty Four. I just got yeah. a book for myself. पहले पता होता तो शायद आपसे आपसे भी चेक करता बट वुड वुड लव टू नो मोर ऑन बाइक 24 सो बाइक 24 इज इन अ वे सिबलिंग ऑफ कार 24 आई वुड से व्हेन वी वर एबल टू स्केल कार 24 इन इंडिया एंड वी आर द लार्जेस्ट प्लेयर करेंटली इन द यूज कार सेगमेंट इन इंडिया द प्लेबुक ऑफ बाइक्स वुड बी फेयरली फेयरली सेम एज कार Interestingly, bikes business in India is one of the biggest one. Uh, if you see by transaction volume, bikes is seven times more than cars. Uh, in the oh, I, think, I think places like Bangalore and Pune have got the maximum number of two uh, wheelers. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Bangalore and I think NCR and Bangalore are the one which is the top uh, top most one. Most one. Yeah. Uh, so, like I was saying, that the playbook is same. Uh, bikes business and the overall. market size is very much same as uh, you know car ticket size is uh, you know even even then when the ticket size is 110 just because the volume of bikes is seven times more it, it you know kind of a equal opportunity for us to be to be there uh, we started bikes 24 almost uh, 10 almost a year ago and we are slowly slowly learning the you know uh, learning consumer learning you know uh, nuances of the bikes and uh, we will soon be rolling out our offerings This is currently only in NCR to many other places of India. Uh, I would love to present uh, Cars Twenty Four journey to uh, each one of the participant and members today. I'm never tired of sharing our journey to anyone who requests, and uh, very glad to be here today. Uh, given the agenda of this discussion, I would want to share the story on how, in particular, we are changing the game of car buying in India. Uh, historically, I think car buying or even car selling as well has Uh, remained same how it was how how our parents used to or even grandparents used to uh, you do not much has changed in the way we buy and sell cars uh, in generations uh, while so much of has happened in the many different categories whether it's a ad tech whether it is a fintech whether it is a you know uh, e normal e commerce of like amazon flipkart uh, food delivery but buying and selling of cars have not changed and we strongly believe that it, this is something where technology is a huge room to play uh most of consumer problem uh, would would really get addressed if you are if you are able to bring technology into the play and bring the you know bring happiness to consumer lives in the ecosystem next slide please so quick uh, very quick on how the flow of uh, my talk will uh, go quickly want to give you some basics about the industry followed by uh, introduction about car 24 then telling you guys how we are really changing the game Uh, of uh, car buying in india uh, and what's what's cooking in car 24 uh, you know r&d facility car 24 think tank and uh, what's next thing coming uh, for the consumers uh, broadly in india right now next slide next slide so <clears throat> about the market so auto overall auto is currently india's 7.1% of uh, gdp this is the second largest contributor of gdp we have uh, and the auto especially has got a huge uh, headroom to grow uh, if i call out uh, you know car business out of, out of auto uh, india has less than uh, 3% uh, uh, i would say car per capita um, if you come if you compare yourself to china uh, china has close to 20% car per capita uh, if you compare yourself to let's say us which has almost 90 90% car per capita uh, so that that shows that as as india is uh, you know growing as india's gdp is growing as we all of our you know trying to you know upgrade our lifestyle there is so much of headroom for this industry to grow uh, and I, I, so next couple of decades this industry is going to grow uh in car per capita uh, is continue to grow uh, and we will hit somewhere close to at least china market in next 5 years or so uh, this is all tells about the 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 volume of opportunity what we have ahead of us uh, currently the currently if i just put together bikes cars and finance insurance all the business together the the opportunity is over 100 billion uh, us dollar and i think the one fundamental thing which makes this market ripe for disruption is that uh, 
is still largely unorganized. So whenever the market is unorganized, uh, there's a huge value a technology can play to be able to organize, not only organize the market, but to also solve the genuine pain points of the consumer. Uh, and of course, before we started, uh, uh, we knew that most of the consumers who are uh, buying cars are not you know, very enjoying the process. And I think most, many of you can relate to it that when you are really buying a new car, uh, buying or selling or, or buying a new car in particular, that you, 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 are, you always feel filled with the joy. The day you came home to book a new car, uh, you know, some, uh, you know, you are going to welcome a new member in the family and the entire process is very joyous. Um, but it's not the same when you are, you know, selling the same car back again. So after five years old, when you want to sell that car, the emotions suddenly changes that, okay, you had no, yeah, now you have to go through a lot of uh, pain. Uh, you have to speak to a lot of strangers, uh, you know, uh, go to the, become, put, put a sales hat on to get the best price of your car, for your car. And it's just the process entire journey is not very delightful. And the same goes for when you are buying a used car as well. Uh, so knowing, knowing the current pain points of the consumer uh, in buying the car as well, uh, and how, how much dissonance currently exists, uh, we really went after it. Next slide, please. So th th this is one research which conducted, uh, Google conducts the you know, auto gear shift report every year, uh, and they really publish the, what are the, current trends uh, in the industry going on. Uh, and there's something very, which is very interesting. I, I, you know, pulled out from the report and I want to, you know, add, I know share with you guys. Uh, so 94% of the customer, uh, when you, before buying a, uh, before buying a car, they do research online. So that, that shows the amount of, you know, engagement customer have in online world before they make any, uh, you know, uh, decision. Uh, six, now the, the next thing which was again interesting came out of it the consumer have now graduated and evolved where 62 percent customer even mentioned that they are okay to buy cars uh, online as well they are not shy of you know uh you know they are not shy of it anymore they they don't want to follow the same old tradition of going to the dealership and for the cars and the and get the car they want to narrow down their choice as much as possible completely online and perhaps just you know get the delivery uh, only 52% customer takes a test drive uh, of only one car. So for 52% customer doesn't, you know, test drive more than one, more than one vehicle before completing their uh, buying journey. So all of this, actually the way, if I just culminate all of all three pointers is that there's a huge amount of interest customer has to research about the cars online. Uh, there's a huge propensity of the customer to buy a car online. And Customer is, you know, customer is ready to even let go of the test drive uh, to buy a car as well. So, uh, fifty-two percent, only fifty-two percent, the customer test drive the car uh, only once. So, all of these factors really tell us there is some, uh, you know, some sort of uh, digital journey uh, is been we have been ready to, uh, you know, uh, prepare for the consumer. Uh, and I would want to share later on the following slides how we are able to uh, solve it. Next slide, please. So introduction to us, how are, how, how, like, how are we really solving the consumer buy, buying journey? Uh, how are we really addressing this problem head on? Uh, and how are we really becoming, uh, you know, currently India's, but uh, very soon global largest auto e-commerce company. Next slide, please. So currently how, 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 how we are really uh, positioned, right? How any, what is the what is the value? What is the uh, you know uh, number of transaction? What we are doing it, currently? Cars twenty four is transacting close to two point two point four to two point five lakh cars uh, annually. Uh, the biggest player in a way in the offline world, uh, which is the Maruti True Value, is somewhere clocking you know seventy to eighty percent ahead of us. So, if I compare ourselves to uh, Maruti uh, True Value, then we are uh, in a way India's second largest players, organized player. At present, uh, our ambition is to race ahead in the game very soon, and hopefully, in next next uh, few years, we'll change, we'll, we'll swap the, we'll swap to the first spot. And like I said earlier, uh, you know, hundred billion is a market size, it's a huge time to go after, uh, ready, uh, you know, ready for disruption, uh, largely unorganized, uh, and so much of so much of to do with the technology to really solve consumer uh, pain points. And just a small data about the monthly traffic, how much is monthly traffic uh, that shows that. 
uh, more and more users are now coming online to really discover of the car what they want uh, and what they discover and they are re really ready to uh, you know complete most of their digital touch points uh, prior to uh, buying the car online only and the why i said amazon of used car in india and uh, i think the, what what we are trying to do fundamentally is bringing the entire journey online so we want to make sure uh, customer can literally shop for cars 100% online just how you are doing any shopping on you know various e-commerce uh, website uh, it is never something which has been done before in india uh, you are literally buying cars at the at the click of a button uh, based on the thousands of cars what is available on our platform and you can really request for the car car to come at your home or you can you know can really visit nearby cars 24 uh, site to be able to pick up the car of your dreams next slide please so how are, like how are we able to scale so fast what is really working for us in a very broad business scenario uh, so the, the flywheel has to move and support each other each other to be able for us to move really faster uh, i'll start with the better you know i'll start with the you know uh, better pricing model so when you are able to give a better price uh, better price you are able to bring bring more sellers uh, which in turn when you bring more sellers on board you know you are able to step up and really provide the, the largest assortment possible for the buyers and when you when there are more buyers which are buying car from you at the price at which you are selling you are able to feed that data back into the pricing pricing model which in turn really attracts sellers to sell car at the price which again really feeds into our better selection so this flywheel starts moving in and once this flywheel starts moving in you're really able to come you are really able to you know uh, get the compound benefit of uh, each and every building block what you have uh, and you are able to you know match demand and supply faster uh, and it helps you also you know quickly gain the the volume of transaction as soon as you know as fast as possible next one please so like i said we are really uh, being an amazon of used car so historically or still most of the most of the uh, you know uh, market in the used car is hyper local what i mean by hyper local is that if i am based out of uh, mumbai uh, mostly the places i from where i will buy the car would be surrounding mumbai only i would not you know go to nagpur kolhapur nasik uh, anywhere to really you know buy the car it's mostly remains hyper local and what what happens when the business remain hyper local you are not able to really get the benefit of a arbitrage which exists in the you know traditional used car supply and demand ecosystem uh, and second what we felt is that why does it have to be hyper local business you you don't follow the same principle when you are buying or selling anything online and on amazon why can't cars can really travel from one district to another district and what it really helps and i'll go back I, you know i'll just take an example of how how i said better pricing leads to more sellers leads to more assortment leads to more you know buyers so on the right side what you are seeing is that it's a, it's a map of the maharashtra where we show that how cars are moving at different uh, districts where you know some cars are being supplied from district a to district b and some car, some cars are moving from you know different directions so what it really does is that we are able to match the supply and demand universally at you know at any given point of time which brings in not only pricing efficiency but also a buyer is able to uh, get the car of their dream at the price what it wants at the quality what he desires uh, and it also brings not only a larger selection so to give an example if i really uh, you know be present in a uh, you know, traditional model, hyperlocal model. I have to really build an inventory of uh, thousands of cars to be able to serve the likes of customers, uh, and I have to keep on adding that inventory in each and every city uh, I operate in. But if I follow the principles of e-commerce, I don't need to do the same thing. I can have inventory setting at uh, you know one or two spots, and I'm able to address to the entire uh, demand. I'm able to address to the entire uh, market from 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 those inventory so what it does really is it really provides the degree of selection it really helps us control the quality of car and it really opens up the gateway to entire you know uh, you know market within that within that state uh, and that really you know uh, gets customer a better assortment like i said 
it helps us get a better quality which is very important part of the you know used car uh, ecosystem and also it helps us uh, you know gain the scale efficiencies as well next slide please so what is the value ecosystem right what does really uh, you know seller and buyer uh, need, uh, you know, desire for need for in this uh, in this market. So quickly from seller side, they want the you know best price. They want to really you know uh, conveniently sell their car and they want to you know do it as safely as possible. Uh, buyers need in the priority order is you know they want to get a good quality car. Uh, they want to get the car what they really want means the largest selection and they want to get a financing uh, you know as well. So to to be to, so that they don't have to really worry about the capital uh, how we are solving it how we are solving each and every tenets of this uh, to build the trust with the customer right uh, now we all know the problems of traditional channels uh, when you when you really transact in the offline world um, there is no guarantee of quality uh, service history checks are not done uh, there is a large amount of uh, information asymmetry exists about what pricing this car should be uh, bought and sold that and you're always confused and you're never too sure about whether you are you know you are buying the car at the right price or not uh, and always financing has been very limited in the u.s car and i want to call out here financing especially and you'll be surprised to know uh, in new cars uh, financing penetration is more than uh, more than 70 percent um, vis-a-vis in used car the penetration of financing is less than 18 percent so you can see the amount of you know the difference exists currently in new car versus used car and how, how can really again there is a you know uh, disruption what we can make as well so the way we in a very nutshell the way we are building trust to uh, in, in buying process is the each and every car get tested uh, professionally inspected uh, so such so that uh, the car really runs as as good as a new car uh, this builds a trust on the consumer's mind when because the customer is able to see all the details of the car, condition of the car very transparently. And it also builds a confidence in the consumer mind as well that he feels safe. He doesn't, he doesn't need to worry too much about uh, buying the car. Uh, pricing is something which helps us, again, you know, balance seller and buyer side both. And our technology at the back end, which uh, primarily auction-based price discovery model, which really help us balance uh, supply and demand and able to also get the car at the good price for the buyers. Financing again, what we are doing, the financing, uh, I'm not sure many of you would know about it or not. Cars 24 is the only NBFC uh, in the auto auto category. Uh, and what we have, what we have done is completely digitize the financing on our platform. So you can literally, uh, while you're buying a car, you can literally, uh, you know, ask to opt for financing, upload the required KYC docs uh, and other paperwork and really get the approval discontinuously 100% online. Uh, which has again never been done before as well. So this is how we are uh, adding value in consumers' lives across their uh, you know consumer uh, journey of buying process. Next slide, please. Next slide. So how are we really you know what is how this magic is happening at the back end? So just want to take few minutes of you on letting you guys know what are all the. Uh, pillars which kind of works uh, in tandem to be able to really uh, help us uh, stay competitive, stay, stay ahead of the game, and to in the end serve our uh, customers. Uh, for supply, uh, Cars24, you are able to get 100% uh, car from the customers. We have, uh, you know, we are the largest player in the used car industry, and, and all of the cars uh, listed on our platforms are clean cars sold by individuals. Uh, our brand has been has gained a trust in the last six years. Uh, has been also currently Cars Twenty Four has uh, you know has a enjoys a highest top of mind recall in the used car category. Uh, we, we recently did a survey uh, led by Ipsos where we discovered and Cars Twenty Four now has been able to really not only uh, has been you know pushed pushed back all other players in the category and currently stands at the top. Our financing is property. Our financing is something which, like I said earlier, uh, we have we are we have our own NBFC. We have developed algorithms at the back end and entire uh, modules at the back end to be able to really stitch the entire end-to-end -end financing journey online. 
and which you would not see anywhere else where you can literally you know get approval of the car loan in matter of few minutes um like i said then journey is entirely online just like when you are sitting at home you know ordering food uh, at ordering food at home or maybe ordering anything at online for the day you can do the same thing with the cars as well completely end to end online e-commerce experience um cars now to deliver that uh, e-commerce experience end to end online we have to really also support this heavily with logistics and warehousing so currently we have or we have set up our uh, you know warehousing all across india uh, trucks all across india to be able to match the demand what we've been getting uh, from consumers uh, last but not least which is a pillar of uh, reconditioning so reconditioning is a very important element uh, to give quality cars to the consumers uh, we are creating right now mega factories to refurbish to refurbish the car which in turn will help us really meet the quality standards what customer really expect from us next slide please so the more to call out one very interesting and which you guys would really uh, you know find interesting about is that how cars what is what is what are the how are we leveraging technology to really help us not only scale but also at the same time find out those things which you can easily miss in traditional ways so one on the left picture on the left what you are seeing is how the machinery works where we can really identify all the small dents scratches in the car or any kind of defects in the exterior body by a scanner so scanner when scans the car automatically detects what are the uh, you know scratch dent you would see in entire exterior body and we all know how Yeah, am I audible? Yeah, should be okay now. Yeah, so coming. Sorry, I uh, I'm back now. Uh, so I was I was stating that how exterior of the body can be scanned uh, by the automatic scanner, which can really uh, tell us what are the defects in each and every car without any manual intervention. So we don't need to rely on uh, identifying what are the ex damages exist externally to the car on any manual effort, and we can really figure it out by using this scanner. Uh, and this, the, all of this information gets feed into our system when we recondition the cars, uh, and that's how we are able to really ensure that each and every car is really perfect when when we, when we are repairing it. Uh, the one picture on the right is about the engine sound. A lot of a uh, lot of things what you can say about just hearing the car out, uh, and also throt throttling the car at the very different RPMs. Uh, so. This, the sound processing which happens at the back end can really tell us any abnormalities or any kind of uh, any kind of changes or any kind of damages that engine has had over the course of uh, the lifespan and can really uh, you know help us take a preventive measure before that car really you know goes out and get listed to be sold to the customers so 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 these two technology which are really uh, in a way replacing uh, the, you know human uh, or manual effort uh, which is again is always uh, easy to get easy to get uh, fooled at or easy to get you know missed at uh, which in turn really compromise the quality and very soon we will be able to replace completely and able to use this ai model to be able to really test test the car and able to fix the fix it uh, before it really you know goes out to list on our website to be sold to the customer next slide please Again, I, I, financing, like I said, how financing is so uh, you know important in used car. Like, let me again reiterate myself. In India currently, uh, in in India currently, we are uh, you know very highly underpenetrated when it comes to financing. Uh, only fifteen percent of used car get financed, while in the new cars, it is the financing penetration is more than seventy five percent. Cars twenty four. When we sell a car, 
and when the entire financing journey get digitized, we have only achieved 50% of financing on all the cars what we sold. So just see the swing what we've been able to make, the dent what we've been able to make where industry average stands at 80%, 18% and we are able to move to really uh, you know 50% of financing in the used cars. And having digital, having journey entirely online and providing cars to the customer, which is, you know, really, uh, you know, personalized to what they really want. And when you combine both of these, these things, it, the journey become entirely frictionless. Next slide, please. Yeah, so it's quick, quickly, uh, how the, how we are able to you know showcase the car uh, on online uh, we can we can quickly skip through it next slide please so next you can skip through these slides as we are running out of time i would uh, you know skip through a few slides to be able to only focus on those which, which really yeah the next big thing so next slide please so what's happening in the Cars24 world is something that we are really creating a mega factories of, uh, uh, you know, reconditioning sectors all across India. You, you, we can directly jump to the last slide. I'm almost done. So all of these pictures, what you're seeing is in preparation of building huge uh, mega factories of uh, reconditioning facilities all across India. Uh, and all of this is being done, keeping in mind the customer really get the car, which as good as new car, uh, without any effects, without any imperfections, and which kind of helps you make the journey, you know, as, as, as joyful as possible. So that's about it. Sorry for taking too long time. Ever. Hey, thank you so much. Uh, now this brings in more um, confidence in at least me and a lot of others watching this to go ahead and uh, pick up a car from Cars24. Uh, and also I'm sure Bikes24 uh, also follows the similar. So thank you, Gajendra. Thank you. Um, much for uh, explaining us the process. Super. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks for having me here. Bye bye.